Welcome back to today's yoga question. Hello, Kate Smith Jameson. Hello again. <laughs> You're joining us from Northern Ireland, where apparently it is already deep into autumn. <laughs> I'm. Uh, you've been having a storm up there, huh? We did. We lost two of our trees this week mm. in the back of our bottom of our garden. So yeah, it was pretty. Um, yeah, very much. Autumn has arrived. So. But yeah, we're here. I'm in Salzburg, Austria, where it's still summer, but I want to talk to you today about pregnancy, which is another, of course, transitional time, like the seasons, it's a transition for our bodies. Um, and we talked in an earlier video about fertility, but um, now let's take one step further. What about early pregnancy specifically from an Ayurvedic perspective? The first trimester, the first few months, what is it that we really need to keep top of mind in order to balance our bodies. So we are very much sort of continuing the vata pacifying practice that we would focus on to create a baby. And if, the, um, if pregnancy occurs, then again, the first trimester is about continuing that vata pacifying um, routine really because again um, we're still really focused on um, creating that foundation um, for the baby to grow it's very early stages um, and so still following the vada pacifying foods plenty of fluids mm -hmm. especially things like coconut water and milk and buttermilk and all these things that will nourish the fetus um, and really avoiding anything again in that sort of spicy hot bitter and astringent those food categories that we talk about avoiding when we're trying to pacify vata especially bitter things because they're very drying and specifically things that are that kind of have that contracting effect so okay. really avoiding things like aloe vera avoiding papayas which eaten raw can actually cause yeah um raspberry leaf tea actually all the things that often mothers who are overdue will turn to to try and get the baby to come so it's important right. to avoid those things in fact generally best to avoid those things all the way through <laughs> i've just seen my <laughs> My sweet husband, Shatsi, we have noch 10 minutes. Okay, so avoiding. Suspicious arrival. I love that. Isn't that a perfect timing? Yeah, that's an auspicious arrival. I love it. So he's just been up climbing, running up a mountain, speaking of pitta, dosha. Um, okay, so vata pacifying. Uh, do you have any specific foods you really encourage your clients to eat in early pregnancy? I mean, everyone talks about being nauseous. So um, does Ayurveda have any great things for nausea? So nausea, if you do suffer from morning sickness, well, it's, it's actually, first of all, see it as a good thing because it's a sign that the pregnancy is progressing well. It's also a sign, and when I think of how much more morning sickness I have with my second son and it correlates with a very strong and determined child as well the more, uh, the more nauseous you are because nausea is associated with pitta as yeah. we mentioned so um so yeah it can be you know the, the second trimester is when we focus on pacifying pitta so generally throughout pregnancy we're trying to pacify vata and, and pitta throughout for obvious reasons because kapha is about you know regenerating it's about creating you know it's about creating the the form and the stability to you know to grow and birth a child so um if you are suffering from morning sickness i mean one of the herbs that ayurveda recommends or two herbs that ayurveda recommends in the first trimester that are good for pacifying vata are shatavari which we've mm -hmm. mentioned before shatavari literally means a hundred husbands <laughs> leave that there brahmi is the other one which is a very um it's a very good uh herb for the nervous system so it's great for for pacifying any of those feelings of sometimes anxiety as well which can come especially if you're trying to have a, a you know your first child so it's a good one to take to pacify vata as well and those two are also really good for pacifying pitta so they're good as well just to, to be taking throughout that first 
trimester um, and especially if there is some morning sickness. I mean, other things that Ayurveda recommends are the kind of pita pacifying um, herbs, things like taking um, cumin water, saffron water, silver water, um, ginger grated with lemon juice and salt is also quite good for, for pacifying um, morning sickness as well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it can be just a case of, of, of rolling with that. I personally found things like, you know, cold, um, and I know we say don't have cold foods with vata, but, you know, fruit, you generally eat, you know, you don't heat it up. Um, grapes are one of the most nourishing mm. therapeutic fruits, which are indicated actually. They're, they're fine for vata as well. And I, I actually found them really good for, um, for calming those kind of butterfly morning sicknessy kind of feelings as well. Um, in my own experience, and they are indicated as well for. Mm. I love um, when I have nausea in my, you know, car sickness or something. I always drink um, sparkling water, but you mentioned in an earlier video that Ayurveda doesn't love carbonated water. Specifically for vata, for obvious reasons, because it just creates more space and air in the, in the belly. And if we're trying to bring that down, it just it just doesn't help, especially when it's really when it's really cold, but it can be, you know, from a, you know, if we're experiencing a lot of our nausea kind of yeah. up, up here, in yeah. this kapha area, as we would call it, in the, you know, in the upper, in the upper stomach, if you like, um, then I can see why that can actually have a bit of a relieving effect. So, you, you know, you do what, what works, but, but really nausea like that, especially when we feel it, kind of more in our in our abdominal area then it it is something that is more of a pita pacifying um, mm. but as i say generally in the um you know in the first trimester it is a sort of vata pacifying moment from the foods that we would favor but you know we're, we're and it's vata throughout because it's constant change throughout right. the pregnancy right um so yeah you can sometimes be dealing with a few little things where you know you might have feel morning sickness but then which is more pita pacification but then sometimes people then suffer with constipation which then is more vata pacifying so things like milk and hot milk and turmeric and ghee is great for that at any time pregnant or not by the way so um you know those would be sort of the, the things that we that we'd be thinking about and then um you know it's uh you know this idea of increasing ojas, you know, increasing that nourishment from the outside in, um, massages are, are, you know, are really good, um, you know, after the first trimester to, um, to really nourish the body, um, from the outside, you know, from the outside in and, and obviously depending, you know, Ayurveda would say that the, the belly where the baby is, is, shouldn't be touched by them, anyone but the mother and father. Um, but you can enjoy really beautiful, um, pregnancy massages really good throughout. Mm. Basically, my takeaway from this series of videos is number one, we all need to reduce vata at all times. And number two, eat more ghee. <laughs> yeah, basically. And, and don't be shy with it, you know, because it's, it's funny. A little bit of it doesn't really help, but, you know, good, good portions. Yeah. Okay. Good portions of ghee. Um, and if you really wanted to go into full detoxification, um, pancha karma, which is the classic Ayurvedic. Um, detoxing and rejuvenating procedures that can last anywhere from nine days to 60 days if you want to go to India and do the full thing um, and in those first uh, days you are drinking you're drinking ghee because of the qualities that it has to bring all the toxins within the body into the large intestine and then mm, bye-bye with the purgation therapies and then you know you follow that with enemas and all that um, you know reintroducing all the nourishment into the body so um yeah it's a pretty it's good stuff kate smith jameson always a pleasure thank you so much thank you namaste <laughs> bye. bye oh wait i forgot to tell everyone Follow, subscribe to kate's newsletter i'm going to put the link below subscribe to my youtube channel click to turn on notifications like this video comment in this video do all of the things <laughs> And we will talk again very soon. We will. Bye. Bye.